The Reed's two weapons have changed, and but the, this is the first little update. Watch this. <gasps> when you hover over this, now it like actually shows if you're interacting with it because it highlights, and when you click on it, ah, it makes a little beep sound. Now, if we cut to the before the update, you'll see that wearing a fire mask cape and a staff of light would cause some stretching between the staff of light and the fire mask cape, and as you can see now, it doesn't. So it used to be just there. Now, now it's not. It's good. Second of all, if you just alk it, uh, we tried alk the imbued heart. <sighs> They increased the high alk value of the imbued heart to 200k for low alk and 300k for high alk, but mine was already set to 70k, so I wouldn't have alked it anyway. But if you alk like Dragon Lawn Swords or whatever, then uh, you won't be alking your imbued heart anymore. Then we just run off to Faldor real quick. Now, the birthday event has been removed, but that uh, little, like, uh, historical monument of all the stuff was pretty cute, and so they left it in. Except you have to access it slightly differently. Now you have to go down uh, either these stairs or these stairs. There's no longer, like, a passageway there. So you just go down here. If you'd seen this, you can look at it yourself. It's pretty cute. Uh, with all the updates, all the major updates that happened to old school in the five years that it's been alive. Now we go to the bank, we just go to the bank settings real quick. Now, from before the update, I have to do my bank win. Now, if we cut to a clip before the update, before you could only fill your bank with uh, with placeholders and you couldn't place a certain amount, but now, cut to the new clip. Oh, look at this, it's beautiful. I can put one, ten, fifty, or X. Then you hit fill. I want to put in 23, and then boom, we got 23 bank fillers. So it makes it a bit easier, just all and then fill it, and then yee. So that's much more uh, convenient, very nice, very nice. Uh, there's an update Skull Scepter, I don't even know if I have a Skull Scepter. Oh, I have a Skull Scepter! <coughs> so before, you couldn't check how many charges it had, so I think it's, uh, while it was worn. Uh, it has 13 charges left, so while it was worn, you could only teleport, and now, each time you teleport, it tells you how many charges are left after you've Teleport, it's now I've got 12 charges left, very nice. Now this is a beautiful update. You won't understand if you don't have crammed your gloves for, but before, cut to the before clip, you had to right click the gloves, hit activate, and then hit the teleport you wanted to go to. But now, oh, so beautiful. So you can just right click and go straight there, rather than having to right click, activate, and then click the teleport you wanted to go to. Beautiful, beautiful. Oh, there's so many beautiful updates. This one's also a beautiful update. <coughs> now you might guess. We're on the way to the gnome stronghold to kick, to talk to King Banana Node or whatever it's called. Mr. King, uh, trade. Hmm. <gasps> Finally. 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 If you didn't know, after Monkey Banders 2, you get given a royal seed pod, and if you died of it, you'd lose it, and you can't, like, drop trick to get, like, multiple. But they've changed it so that you could just, like, he has a store of 30 of them, you just just buy them. Uh, yeah. Now, like, when I was doing Revenants, these were quite popular, because they teleport you up to level 30 wilderness, and they're a left click teleport in your inventory, so it's really easy to just, like, panic, hit it, and then teleport. But every time you died, you'd have to come back here and get a new one, but now you could just bulk buy a bunch of them, and, uh, store in your bank. Bam! I have all the royal seed pods. <laughs> just need to fairy ring somewhere real quick. I would show you this on my pure because it's relevant, but like my pure has already done the quest and my pure is free to play right now. Let's go to the Slayer Caves. Now, if you're a pure, you'll want the bear head from Mountain Daughter, but you don't always want to complete the quest. So what you do, so now they've changed it. So even if you haven't completed the quest or you've got far enough in the quest, but you haven't completed it, you could still go back and get another bear head. So you do have to get far in the quest to the point that you've killed the Kendall, but you don't need to then complete the quest. You just need to get that far. <coughs> slap, slap, chop down that tree, drop down this tree. In we go. Wait, you don't need to go back in there. Oh, I can't show you. Well, all you would need to do is you would go in there and because you haven't completed the quest, you can go in there and all you do is search in the middle of the room where all the rocks are and then you'll get another bear head. But I can't show you because it won't let me in because I've completed the quest. <coughs> now, I don't know which abyssal demons it was, but they basically just fixed the stairs here or the other stairs but the other abyssal demons are. Because like as you were halfway up the stairs, your character would sink into the floor. Or you can sort of see it there. Oh yeah, I'm sort of sinking into the floor, sort of, a little bit. But apparently they fixed that a little bit, so that's a good slap. The snake looking thing in the inferno can no longer deal damage while it's digging in the uh, in his dig animation. You can also no longer log out at the start of the waves in the inferno, meaning you can't scout the next wave and then log out and then know what's coming. You know what I mean? And also the major that can resurrect stuff will no longer randomly like move about while it's resurrecting stuff, so he's always going to stay in place. To the failed appeals, we've got to go visit Rant. Hey, this is the wrong fairy ring. I want to go to like that one. <laughs> this, this is, ah, here we go. You can no longer enter Rant's cave. This is, this is Rant's cave right here. From above, meaning like from behind, because like now your character will run around to the front before you just enter from like the backside didn't really make sense, but that's that's cool. And last, but definitely not least, we have an update regarding Bob the Cat. Just switch to Luna's Bob the Cat for reasons I cannot say for spoilers can no longer be contacted through the contact uh, ABC ABC contact spell on the Luna spell book. Um, um, yeah. Oh wait, another thing. Also regarding Bob the Cat, tears of Guthix, and if you're not doing your tears of Guthix, you make me sick. 
Now, I make myself sick because I don't do too my tears of graphics, but I'm max, so I have an excuse. You have no excuse. Easy XP, man. Easy XP. If we talk to Juna, I've been trying for 10 minutes to, to get her to say the right thing, but I can't find it. Basically, if you tell her a story and your character starts talking of Tale of Two Cats, he'll say something different than he did before because Dragon Slayer 2 happened, and uh, yeah, I'll say nothing more. I hate doing my tears of graphics. Other than that, we're gonna hug to the, the, the tournament world again because I want to see these changes. <coughs> okay, so let's see what's happened. Right, so what they've done, the scythe has got buffed. So this has higher slash bonus, so it's gonna be more accurate, and it's one tick faster than it was before, so we'll give that a little go in a second. The defender's stats, uh, the def defensive and accuracy stats were increased by plus three, I'm pretty sure, all around. So that got a, a tiny little buff. The staff, though at the moment it doesn't uh, take, take any blood runes, but when it does, when it's released, it will now take three blood runes per cast, and the chance to heal is now one in six rather than one in eight, which is like, okay still, but not really, because I'd want this to be like best DPS or I'm still gonna just use Trident of the Swamp. We will take this to Mole in one second and we just get some bandus. Oh what? It doesn't say it but I'm pretty sure this used to be Stab. This aggressive one used to be Stab because I didn't use it before. And that's Slash. Whatever that's cool. So plus 143 Slash, 127 Strength bonus. That didn't change but it's slightly faster so we're taking this somewhere. Oh yeah they changed the Rapier as well. So this Rapier right here we just uh, tickle this off. <coughs> so they increased the Stab bonus to 94 as you can see and the Strength bonus to 89. And if we just grab the Abyssal Tentacle Whip to compare Heck, why is this so bright? I mean, not so bright. There we go. That's better. Grab the Abyssal Tentacle Whip. It has plus 90 slash 86 strength. 94 stab, 89 strength. So it is like straight up better than the whip now, except it can't inflict poison. But still, it's Pokey Poke, and Pokey Poke weapons are in uh, short supply right now, especially good ones. So, um, uh, sell your Hastas, boys, because this rapier is going to be OP. Well, it's not, but it will be like 100 mil or so, because like it'll be best in slot, like most things. Also, I haven't been telling the, the uh, level requirements for these. So, this rapier is 75 attack. The defender is 70 defense and 70 attack. The scythe requires 75 attack and 75 strength. And uh, a little more info about the scythe before we go and test it again. This version of the scythe, it's not like the, it hasn't been fully implemented yet. So, when this is released, there will be a charged and uncharged version of the scythe. And the uncharged version of this scythe is about two thirds the stats of the fully charge version which is this version and at the moment one charge is like one swipe so three hits because it hits three at a time not like three separate attacks so one charge of that is one one hundredth of a vial of blood and three blood runes so 100 charges is a vial of blood and 300 blood runes and vials of blood are going to be like a common drop from a from the raid so i imagine it will be like 150k for 100 charges so it's like sort of expensive but then it's going to be pretty good as well in my opinion the rapier should also degrade in the same way there should be a charge and uncharged version because it will be like best in slot so it should cost some money to use but uh, I don't know how that's gonna go and now let's go to mole because wait I don't think this any has I might have a little bit more buckets of sand slap uh, down we go proceed regardless oh man let's turn this music to some good music banger hello mr. mole let me just damn it I want to see some hefty hits heftier than last time please these aren't very hefty we'll test the rapier because that one actually got buffed so we'll see higher hits from that he <laughs> <sighs> oh, he did. I want to hit like a 40, 30, 20 or something. Oh, that's not bad. 40, 16. <laughs> e, that was bad. Um, the weapon's okay. I don't know how it is versus the rapier because the rapier is going to poke faster and it hit like 40s, maybe 50s. We're about to find out. <laughs> Straight away, you poke a 50. <laughs> What? This is so good! Okay, I think this is like better than the scythe, I think. Because it's faster and can poke 50s. Whereas the scythe doesn't really like to hit too often. <laughs> yeah! Look at all those zeros. Genuinely can't tell what's better. I think the rapier's better. But like, the scythe is meant to be better because it's hitting three times. I have seen enough at more. We're gonna go Vorkarth instead because Vorkarth with his rapier. But that should be really good now that I think about it. Let's uh, let's head on back. <coughs> to get maximum deeps, I need to be able to wear this. Which means I have to do this thing because I haven't done it on the the tournament worlds because everything gets reset. About to say if I couldn't cut through that web it would have been so bad. Because this thing has slashy slash but this one is like a pokey poke so I wasn't sure if it would work. Oh yes I have 100,000 slayer points. Good. Buy a slayer ring. I can teleport right to Tarn's lair. So I can complete this mini quest really quick and then I can actually like uh, actually uh, kill walkouts with loads of DPS. This dude is so beautiful. Are you ready for this? Oh goodness. Terror puppies. Mm, tentacles. He makes some weird sounds, dude. Nom. I remember doing this boss fight back in Irish 2. I don't remember it being so epic. But, uh, that was easy. Got him. Can I wear this now? Oh, yeah, I have to go through here. Find his diary. Oh, no. Terror puppies. Yeah, I can wear that now. Good, good. Well, that was, uh, that was easy. Right, let's get on with this. Let's go to Relica. Get rid of this. 
Go to that. Munch stamina pot. Now watch me die first kill. I'm, I'm good at this, man. I'm good at this, I swear. Poke. Hello, sir, Mr. Vorky. Poke. Oh, 57. Let's try the scythe. Oh, no, not this. Um. Um. That didn't go well. <laughs> well, I think we've, uh, had, uh, done enough of that. The Reaper, if you're good at the game and don't die, it's actually pretty decent the Vorkast because he's a dragon and weak to stab and it's the best stab weapon so it's actually pretty decent. Not sure if it's better than the Dragon Hunter crossbow but well that was fun. Anyway those are the updates for this week. Uh, only thing I missed is Dead Man of course. This Saturday the final is happening 10 p.m. GMT on Saturday the 17th of March so make sure you hop on Twitch if you're available uh, because uh, that'll be uh, entertaining as always usually. Other than that I skipped over some graphical uh, patches in the uh, in the other news section in the news post linked in the description as always and uh, let me hop back to my other world real quick. Now last video I asked if I should accept Dragon Imp donations and a lot of you, well I say a lot of you, all of you said yes if it means more content. So if you do ever see me online, I'm usually on World 42, I am now taking Dragon Impling donations um, which I'll just use for uh, to get elite clues from. As so obviously that'll speed up the amount of masks I can get and all that. So if you want to do that, then that's cool. I appreciate it. And um, so if you do want to give me some dragon implings because you wanna you wanna you wanna give me like dragon implings for elite clues and all that, and I'm not on, you can come into my Discord and message me, and then I might be able to hop on if I'm available. But if we're the complete opposite time zones and I'm never on when you're on, you can give it to one of my ranks. You can give it to any rank in my clan chat with two bananas or higher, and then they'll give the dragon implings to me. But Again, if you want to give them to me in person, then just join my Discord and message me on my Discord, and I'll hop on if I'm not busy with anything. With that being said, that is uh, everything I'm pretty sure, and uh, <coughs> I'm starting to edit videos which were recorded like s almost six months ago now. It's actually sort of stupid, so if any videos come out where the prices look super off, that's because the, the clips were old, but that doesn't mean they're not funny. I've got one uh, editing right now, will probably come out next week or the week after, I don't know. And it's got some old prices, so don't worry if you see the, the weird looking prices it's just because the clips are quite old like i these this is the amount of clips i have wait where is it here we go so like this is my loot tab which none of the videos have come out of which i've killed stuff to get this loot tab and uh yeah so you could you can see how much pvm has been happening but I haven't made any videos on it because uh, I've been backlogged with PVM videos. But they'll come out soonish. And also this guy. Um, spoilers. Yes, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, news post in the description linked as always. And uh, Deadman Mode Finale 10pm GMT this Saturday. Uh, so that's, that's, go on Twitch to v watch that man. That'll be fun. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's about it.